what's up, my good people? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of yourself today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on the note, my good people, I'm going to let the video take off. I'm going to play catch you at the end, baby. Let's go. South Jersey, a tragic scene unfolding in Gloucester County where we're told two people are dead. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. It has been a tough, emotional night for family and friends as they arrived at an apartment complex in Clayton. Steve Keeley is live for us in Clayton, New Jersey tonight. And Steve, you spoke with the family. What are you learning? I talked to this victim's 20-year-old son. He's one of five children, and I just spoke to her mother. And this victim was an only child. And her mother, just a beautiful woman in herself, and she said and confirmed what the son had told me, that her daughter had been fighting lymphoma, had beaten cancer after a 10-year struggle, just was diagnosed with lupus, was here at her boyfriend's house and his family is also here in clayton which is right down north broad street where you see still a heavy police presence and a lot of family and friends from both of these people and so the son damien green who's 20 years old was on the phone with his girlfriend so the niece of the victim another adult woman and two children were with this victim when she came to retrieve a lot of her belongings when the witnesses told us that he shot her twice, then shot at them as they got into her car, and then they saw him shoot himself. Here is some of what Damien told me. My mom's not here no more, and that's the only person I ever had. Oh. And I want everybody to feel my pain and understand right. that this is, this is real. This is real life. It's not a game. And so he is heart sick because he, mom said to him, even though she just beat cancer, she f and then found out she had lupus, she thought she was going to die. And he's like, don't say that, mom. And then he gets this news over the telephone as this is just breaking. And they're calling him saying, get over here. Your mother's just mm, been shot. And I told him to go find some police. He found me first, asking me what I knew. And then as I just went down the street just before airtime, um, the victim's mother came up and hugged me and she said, it's so bad to meet you at the scene of my daughter's murder, my only child, who was just a beautiful young woman, even though uh, this victim just in the 40s. And then I talked to a uh, well-known law enforcement source down here with the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office who confirmed that this was a murder side suicide. And uh, they always say no danger to the public, but there's a gun on scene and there's two victims on scene and a lot of people who knew both of them still on the scene. So this will be a heavy police presence for quite a while into the early morning hours tonight as they all continue continue this investigation uh, but just sad from crazy, both families man. aspects the people that knew all the man right, didn't want to believe it couldn't believe saying. it happened when they were hearing the you news as they raced down here too so Jason man. Sheba just awful news here in the heart of Gloucester County we've got Glassboro police man, helping out Monroe Township police and of course the Clayton police and Gloucester County prosecutors all for him to hear his old girl say that then she turned around then then you know what I'm saying somebody zipped his old girl up that ain't cool already because he already was like probably fighting with the thing that his old girl was telling him. And he was like, no, no, mama, don't don't say that. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't want to be hurt. He ain't want to be broke down the way he couldn't figure out his way no more. You feel me? Nah, Jit, I pray that Jit figure still be strong and figure out his way. You feel me? Because right now, you know what I'm saying? You see how the soft spoken he is? You feel me? Jit is in pain. You feel me? So I hope nobody don't bother him. Because they do. Jit going to crash out. I'm telling you now, Jit going to crash out because, you know what I'm saying? What he dealing with, nobody don't know what he dealing with but him. You feel me? You can send this person off the counseling and all that. Counseling don't, counseling don't help nobody. People need to pray for people and, and their own self need to pray and go to God, but I understand some people don't believe in God. Some people don't believe in praying. But, man, I'm going to tell you something. You will find your way when you get close to God, man. You ain't got to be close, close. But as long as you trying to find your way and you submitting, you you pouring out your heart and you make this, you make that, God will save you. He will get the strength that you need. You feel me? Because anybody about this young dude, man, Jit going to spouse him, man. I'm telling you. That's soft-spoken. You know what I'm saying? I feel real sorry for Jit, man. I do. Because that's so spoken, man. It's like, 
Jit, jit mean business, man, whoever, you know what I'm saying? But the dude took the cow way out, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, man, why you going to do this to a lady, though? You know what I'm saying? And knowing that, man, she was already fighting cancer. Then she was fighting against lupus. Then you going to actually get rid of this lady? Come on, dude, man. You already know this, you know what I'm saying? The lady was sick and you was there. You know she was sick. Why? Why do that? You know what I'm saying? Let let her die on own free will, man. Let God do what he need to do to other people, man. Don't be doing like you, God, like you, God gives you authority enough to take this person's life. You feel me? That's why I tell y'all, I'm going to tell you something, man. You never know when you're going to die. Only but God know. God know what date, what year. God know everything. That lady could have lived past that lupus. And she could have died when she got about 80 some years old or 100 years old. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's God's choice. But we got these people out here with these toolies, man. It's like the first thing they pick up when they have that angry, they just want, you know what I'm saying, zip somebody up. If you know you got an angry problem, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Why pick up a gun if you know that you is that type of individual? Now, you were trying to do self defense, I get it. But just by you know you got that type of temper, why pick up that toolie? I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And the scary people too. Why y'all pick up a gun and you know you're scary? You feel me? Because once you, if you're scary and you can't thump, guess what? If you zip that person up, you're going to be in more trouble than you is. And you're scary too. When you get behind that cage, that big cage, oh man, it's going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble because you're already scared. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to thump. So guess what? You might well pipe down. You feel me? And don't put no gun in your hand. Just stay from around certain type of neighborhood. You ain't got to hang around certain type of crowd. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all young just be showing out, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be showing out for dudes. Y'all be showing out for dudes, man. Then some of y'all be showing out for females. But nine times out of ten, you be showing off for dudes, man. You know what I'm saying, man? What that dude got for you to be showing out in front of that dude, man? Tell me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting because, you know what I'm saying, I'm kind of lost. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what a man got to do showing off with another dude. Why you got to show off in front of another dude? You know what I'm saying? I want to know. Good people, y'all come and let me know why you think young people, sh why you think men show off in front of another dude. They need to be trying to show off to a woman. Don't show off in front of a dude, because that dude told him the same tool you told. You feel me? And then again, don't be trying to show out in front of no woman, because you're trying to show off in that woman like you tell. Guess what? The woman you showing off her, she going to still be out here doing what she do. And while you behind that cage doing big numbers. Think about it, good people. you showing off in front of the wrong people. If you want to show out, show out, show out and give yourself to God. Let God know you're going to show out for him. You're going to do the right thing for him. You feel me? You're going to stand on 10 for God. You feel me? Y'all be trying to stand on 10 for your hood. Trying to stand on 10 for your home what? You know what I'm saying? Y'all stupid or what? I'm, did y'all wake up and ate y'all Wheaties? Something y'all got to eat, man. You know what I'm saying? Because what they put in that food? <laughs> man, making y'all young just go cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying, man? Man, they need to give y'all a box of oatmeal. You know what I'm saying? And they need, you know how some oatmeal be thick. That's what need to be going on in y'all brain. Y'all brain ain't thick. Y'all brain weak. They need to get y'all some home weedies or something. Because your brains ain't thick. Because you can make an oatmeal thick. When you got that thick brain, that means ain't nothing can't cross your brain. Ain't nothing can't make you do stuff that going to wind you behind that cage. When you got that light brain. That thin brain, that weak system, guess what? You might want to say, you're a, you, you're a real dummy. You're a crash dummy. You might want to get in the car and and let these people put you inside one of these cars. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's what it is. Anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying, man? That's the end. I'm going to scratch that, man. That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying, man? I feel sorry for Jit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pray for Jit too, man. You know what I'm saying? So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smash that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.